Hang the Town has gotten really weird, but you know what? I kind of like it. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now many of you guys will remember the last episode we took our first look at the new custom texture character creator that they added to the game and since then people have been adding a lot of really cool characters to the workshop but almost none of them are actually in levels yet, which just drives me crazy. Like, I can understand, because I'm sure it takes a lot more time to build a good level than it does to build a good character, but that being said, I I'm just, I'm really excited for there to be something new and refreshing in this game. So I've looked around, I found some levels with new characters in them, and some really good levels that I've overlooked over the past few weeks, and for today's episode, we're gonna check them out. Our first level is called Madness Combat Test Room, and I'm pretty sure... Sir, can you turn around again really quick? I, oh, oh, okay, L listen, I don't want to interrupt your groove in here, but I just wanted to check to see if you have a face. Right, okay. So like I was saying, I'm pretty sure that this is based off the Flash game Madness Combat, right? It was very similar to Paint the Town Red, where everybody was a test dummy that looked something like this, except for they were made out of spheres rather than cubes, and you had to kill everybody. So, maybe they recreated it in Paint the Town Red? That would be pretty cool. Ooh. Okay, well, you guys seem cool, right? We're, we're just gonna hang out, but I'm not sure about the burly guy with the shotgun. I'm gonna get my musical defense, but hopefully I can just slip past him, right? I'm not looking to make enemies here, man. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. I love Flash games. I love... Uh, uh, twitchy X faces? Oh, oh, no, don't. I don't like that. Oh, that's creepy. Is that they're blinking? Why are we all Blair Witching in here? What, what is everybody doing hanging out? <laughs> Hi. I'm the new guy who wanted to audition to be in the band. You guys cool with that? I, I'm gonna be the singer. Oh, you wanna hear me sing? Okay, uh, how, is, how is that? Good, good, oh crap. It's not a big level, but it has a, a whole lot of charm to it with the terrifying faced men <laughs> and the Dramatic lack of weapons. Excuse me. Can I can I borrow that guitar? I, I am also a guitarist. I, I can sing Stairway to Heaven. Where'd you get a knife? Do 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 Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> Trust me, I know all the words. I have the best words. Oh, swing and a miss. Is this? Oh, I thought this thing had infinite ammo for a second. It went from eight to six. Weird. Okay, excuse me, test dummies. Please remove yourselves from my vicinity. Who had uh, a drink? Yeah, I'll take a drink. Eh. Okay, the burly guy's still gonna be a bit of a problem. It's always the drummer that wants to hold out. Thank you. One left. Hey, 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 hey. I saw you looking at that knife. You sit down. This is what I'm talking about, though. This level would have been just a box with a bunch of people in it, but because they added the custom character skin, it's so interesting, and they're really creepy. I don't, oh, I don't like the fact that when they blink, it kind of just bends. That's something that I think we're gonna see very strangely in a lot of custom character skins, is people don't realize that there's facial expressions, that they change, and that they blink and stuff like that, so I am I'm, I just love to see stuff break in games too, all the better. Our next level is called Escape from Pepe. Why? I'm not entirely sure, <laughs> but we have Pepe. And, uh, oh, and we also have a lobster man in a cage. Zoidberg! What did they do to you? What did they do to your clothes? Have you been working out, dude? Let's get you out of there so you can do some more crunches and stuff. Oh, yeah, they got the boiling water. They're, they're ready to eat you. Who, who's they, though? Is it Pepe? Is it you, sir? What are you doing up here? Whoa, you're not a sir. They added women to paint the town right. <laughs> you never realize how much you want something in this game until you finally see it. Yes, women. Maybe. Don't get me wrong. Women can sit however they want. But that is definitely a manly stance that you're taking up there, madam. You can kind of see right up the back cave. So th that's only three people. There's, oh, there's a fourth person. We got a friend. Oh, so I need to help you escape from Pepe. Well, how did you get caged by him? He looks like he's having a mental breakdown right now. <laughs> I don't know who I'm supposed to attack. Who's a friend? Who's a foe? Ooh, who cares? I have a katana. All right, well, um... 
Oh, oh, you're, oh, oh. <gasps> you were in on it all along, Zoidberg. Oh, maybe not. Hey, you look, they're helping me with Pepe. Let's get his legs. Great, I already got his legs a little bit. Eh, nah, nah. Oh, crap, why are you so strong? Here, how about we just, eh, boiling water. Boiling water, you're, you're a frog. You're supposed to be vulnerable to boiling water. Oh, shovel. I'm sure frogs are probably vulnerable to shovels as well. Get him, friends! <laughs> I probably wasn't supposed to hit the woman. I think she was helping us. My friend got out of his cage somehow, though. What's the point of a cage if you guys could just get out of it? All right, let's just whack him with this. You guys got weapons? There you go. Get him, get him, guys. Get him. We're just all teaming up on the frog. He became a bad meme. Bad meme! We can make him an extra dead meme now in a minute. Come on. Oh my god, yes! Yes, we, no, no, ma'am, we did it. We did it, ma'am. We're in this together. Oh, screw it. Fine, you want to be like that? I'm just going to poke you in the brain. <laughs> there we go. Okay, are we good? I'm, I mean, I'm good. You not so much. You're missing an arm. <laughs> you got a war story to tell your kids about Pepe the Frog. Um, so what? I need to find a way to open this? Is there a button around here or something? in Pepe's body? It's hard to tell if there would be a button on the floor because there's a lot of Pepe on the floor. I don't know how to escape and this music is making it way more intense than it has to be. Here we go, okay. He's got it hidden in some kind of toilet. Oh, nope, that would have boiled Zoidberg. <laughs> I kinda wanna play this level a second time because now we know we can boil him and I found a gun, but that doesn't help with this. Right? There has to be a way through this. Some kind of button somewhere. Well, I do see a guy over there. Maybe if I shoot him, it'll open up? What if I just, uh... That was not where I was aiming. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, I'm still trying to get out of here, I guess. Oh, where would the button be? I'm gonna have to look this up. I have no idea how to end this level. Oh, wait. No, that's not a button. Hmm. So we just looked this level up on the workshop again, and apparently you can beat it without hurting anybody. You can just escape, but I don't even know how to escape after I've hurt people. Zoidberg, you got any hints? <laughs> I'm so lost. There is no button. There's no freaking way. There is a guy in there, but I don't see any indication of how I can lower this. Maybe I should have kicked Pepe into it? Some kind of froggy sacrifice? Like the only button that we have is the anti-Zoidberg button. But that's not helping me. It could be underneath all this blood. Okay, I'm gonna restart just to take a look around because I get the feeling trying to find this is gonna be really difficult with so much red all over the place. I don't suppose you've seen the button, have you? No? Okay, well then you're no freaking use. Would it be behind all this crap? Uh, no, it's just the gun. Okay, well we have a gun. That's a better start than last time. Now the- oh. Oh, I thought that was a button. No, Pepe was just having a smoke, so... Button, but Are you kidding me? I would have never seen that in a million years underneath all of the blood. <laughs> so, that kind of worked. Oh, oh, no, don't go back up. Stop that. Why would you do that? I'm confused. Why is this changing them? Okay. Well, that's fine anyway. Now we can try the uh, anti Zoidberg button. <laughs> there we go. And uh, Pepe, can you just sit down? Crap. Okay, ma'am, 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 you're supposed to be helping me with the frog. Oh, crap. Don't worry, friend, he keeps a pool katana handy. I got it. Oh, crap. What's with the follow through in this game? <laughs> I go right through Pepe's head and into my friends. I'm sorry. I really did try to escape with you. <laughs> Dude, come on. You can't you can't pick up a shield like that, okay? Kids dissect you in science class. You can't just start defending yourself all of a sudden. So the exit. We have one dude who's just kind of hanging out. Are you okay? Sir? Oh, and I'm out. Okay, well, once again, very small level, not very complicated, but the characters make it amazing. Our next level is called Knoxford's Asylum, and I'm not sure if this has any custom characters in it or not, but it is one of the highest rated levels over the past few months, so I figured we should check those out as well. Uh, what you doing, sir? <laughs> Just kind of humpty dumptying? Oh, on top of that weird 
non-gradient, no shading textured thing. Okay, that, that's a little trippy. So, what's going on out here? We just, oh, we're just burning somebody, are we? Well, that, that, that must be fun here out in the void, but I'm gonna go indoors because I came here for an asylum. Sir, sir, you, you've got... <laughs> You might want to get that checked out, okay? That's the kind of thing that you see a doctor about. Oh, that can't be healthy. I'm, I'm going inside. I came here for the asylum. I'm not interested in whatever kind of barbecue you guys are having. Hello? Well, that's not very nice. Oh. The crazy people are taking over. I see. Well, you guys just have your fun because I've been called a little crazy from time to time myself, so I'm just gonna... Wander on through, just having a look. Don't mind me, right? We're, all, we're cool, right? You know what, I'm even gonna let you guys out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to let you out, I'm sorry. They're cool, ow, they're cool with it. They're, they're cool, they're, these guys are cool with it though. Okay, well, we have a bit of a problem. Fluffles, could you maybe get up off the love bed and help me out? <laughs> would, ow, would really appreciate it. Um, Kitchen, kitchen, excuse me. I digged him so hard I broke their ankles. And we're back out to, oh God, Fluffles, I said get up off the love bed, but I didn't mean to start taking a pounding in the courtyard. Okay, get away from my friend. Yeah, that, that's what you get. You really gotta wonder which asylum worker thought that it would be a good idea to have a stock of battle axes. <laughs> Just in case stuff goes downhill, you know, somebody gets out of line and you need to do a public beheading, I guess. <laughs> that was a public be bodying, I suppose. Fluffles, stop. What are you doing? Just, just get out of here, okay? I got work to do. I gotta entertain the people by making the smushies. Oh, I, I wanted the big knife. I wanted the, the big knife. Or you could take the little knife, and I'll, I'll take the big knife. There we go. You see, makes a huge difference. That, that one wasn't Fluffles, but that one's Fluffles. They, they look alike, okay? But I would never kill Fluffles. Duh. It's perfectly fine. Did you guys know that the origin of Fluffles is on my second most watched video ever? It's got like two point something million views. Completely, it all blows my mind. I saw that, I was just like, why? Such a stupid character and such a stupid idea has gone so far on my channel. Cannot believe it. There's so many people that watch for the first time and they're like, why does he keep calling naked people fluffles? It's just the dumbest inside joke I've ever had, but I love it. It's why he's on the channel banner. Some people won't actually see that. If you're on mobile, it's kind of cropped off, but Fluffles is indeed immortalized on the channel banner, being, you know, slightly creepy with one of the tabs units, which is what you would expect from Fluffles. Smite ready, okay. So, let's just uh, head out here into the courtyard. Hey guys, so you want to uh, have barbecue, huh? Gonna oblige, I might be able to help you with that. We're gonna leave the guy with the stool in his stool because he, he's got problems already, but if everybody else just decided to explode, that would be perfectly acceptable. Why are some of these guys not exploding? Um, hmm, okay, so I just kind of gave him a bit of a shave. Hey, look at you, you got the stool out. Good for you, buddy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get my way, ow. Oh, he hit me with the stool. Rude. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty took a sword to the face. Humpty Dumpty wasn't Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh wait, that's Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. I got it raw, screw it. You know what, they're all the same. I love that when you catch people just below the chin with this, you kill them every freaking time. You just pop heads off. It's a wonderful thing. Except for when your sword randomly explodes. I don't really appreciate that. Ah, oh, guitars are nearly as efficient. You're a boss, aren't you? So you're gonna be a bit of a problem. Let's just get you really quick. There we go. Maybe you guys would like to join me over here? Would you kindly jump into the fire? Uh, eh? You're a bit of a big boy to be kicking. Fortunately, I've got the overpowered stool. Stool on your face. That That's not what I, I meant. That came out wrong, okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to put stool on guys' faces, okay? Keep this uh, PG. Just me and you, Rockstar. We're gonna get through this together. Ow, ow, that really hurts and I don't have any more weapons. I've broken them all on his face already. Maybe I can trick him into standing on top of this, right? And then, and then, and then, and then. No, 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 and then, and then. There we go. That's how we're gonna get him, except for now I can't touch him because he's all fiery. Um, get it. Oh, here we go. Baseball bats work. Oh, I don't like the diving. 
really, really, really annoying. Uh, really, really annoying. It's it's really, really. There we go. <laughs> In spectacular fashion, he's out. I hear the little wet slaps of love, but I don't see anybody. Are you guys the ones that are upset right now? Not for long, that's for freaking sure. Okay, I'll, I'll leave you guys in there to enjoy yourselves. Just give them like 10 to 15 minutes to bake. Martha Stewart style. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Fluffles, little help. Little help. Are you ready to help? Take that as a no. Was there a gun here on the ground this entire time? I would have made my life so much easier with you, right? Bullets hurt. Bullets used to hurt back in back in my day. Bullets hurt. Ow! Apparently, guitars hurt now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so everybody who's left is currently playing Ring Around the Fluffles. So how about we just pop some heads, or not? I think a berserk would come in a lot more handy right now. Smite just isn't really getting the job done lately. You can only get like two or three people. Whereas, oh, I'm sorry, Fluffles. Oh God, you all look alike when I'm in this mode. I just I lose control. I thirst for meaty little cubes. Who's left? Who's left? Somebody get up. So somebody's left. Who's alive? Oh, there we go. We got some winners. So, battle axe. Eh, last one. Last one. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, God. I hate taking so long to beat a level when you finally get it. Feels good. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And like I said last time, I will be doing more Paint the Town Red, but I'm going to put a little bit of time in between episodes in the hopes that people make more levels with these custom characters. Because they look amazing, and you can imagine that people are going to have some really creative ideas once they can use more than bikers and chefs and random people. You know, once you can put zombies and hazmat suits and lobsters and memes and women, then all of a sudden the world opens up to you. So look forward to some more Paint the Town Red once the levels get made. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.